guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. I'm going to be sharing with you guys my experience going to the Bite Beauty Lip Lab here in LA and having my own custom lipsticks made. It was so much fun, I took tons of pictures. I'm going to be inserting um, pictures, some little short clips, and then I of course have the package here and I'm going to be sharing with you guys my lipstick and give you a little backstory on my whole experience. So let's get into it. Okay, so a little bit of information. For the By Beauty Lip Lab, um, the one I went to is here in LA. They do have a location in New York City. They also have one in San Francisco. The original is in New York, and I remember um, a couple of years ago, I had gone to visit New York, came back home, and then I had read about the Lip Lab where you can go in, they'll mix different pigments, um, different finishes of lipstick, and you can custom create your own. And I thought that was so much fun, especially being somebody who's so much into you know the lipsticks beauty products and being able to go in and create your own custom lipstick shade i think is so awesome so the originals in new york city they also have one in san francisco and then a few months ago i had learned that they had one open in la and it's been open for about a year and so I thought it would be something really fun for me and one of my really good friend jen um she is a beauty enthusiast like me I thought it would be something really cool, a really great experience. It is on the pricier side, but it was well worth it. It was so much fun. Um, we had a great time together. We also brought her daughter. I'm going to put some clips of her. She is so cute. Her name's Anna. Um, and it was just a great experience. So I called and made the appointment for two people. And the package that we got, I believe, is the Bespoken package. So you get to do two custom lipsticks. You get to mix you know, the color. You get to pick the scent. You also get to pick the finish. So they have like the satin, they have the matte, they have the sheer, and then they have one other finish. I can't remember what it was. Um, and then you uh, get everything in this cute little package. You also get a few extra goodies that I'm going to share with you guys. So um, anyways, I made the appointment for two. I believe it was about... 150 per person and then we made two extra lipsticks one for me and then one for her daughter and i believe those were an extra 64 a piece it can be pretty pricey compared to just going into a store and you know buying a 20 to 30 dollar lipstick but again it was about the experience so it was so much fun i do not regret a thing it was well worth the price and i definitely would go in to do it again um i think it's something great to do with like a really good friend if it's like a bridal party it was just really fun so let me go ahead and insert some clips of the place that we went to along with some photos and then I will go ahead and show you guys what's in the bag
so now you guys have an idea of the lab it's super small it kind of looks like a store you go in they have people there they have all the pigments it was great so when you leave they give you this bag of course it says bite beauty and the tissue paper has lipstick it's so cute so let's pull this out sorry if my lighting switches back and forth um and this is what the inside of the bag looks like so I have some lipstick shade cards I'll go into detail with that and then I have two boxes of my lipsticks they give you these like really sturdy little drawer boxes and then I have one more box when you do the bespoken special um, you get a, another gift and um, I'll show you guys what comes in that first so let's go before we touch the products we're gonna go into the lip cards so when you go in and have services done um, whether you go to the LA LA location the New York location or the San Francisco location basically they keep your um, ingredient recipe recipes for food <laughs> they keep your ingredients of um, what you use in your specific lip color on file so if you go to any of the lip labs and you go you know I, I went to the one in LA and say I go to the one in New York and I want to repurchase a lipstick that I had made there they have everything on file in their system of the exact shades that they use the finish um, and the scent so they can recreate it for you and you can repurchase your personal lipstick so what they had us do was once we nailed down each shade, they have you do a little kiss mark and they cover it tape so you don't get ruined. And um, you're also able to pick a name for your lipstick, which is really fun. It's only allowed to be up to six characters, so they all have to be kind of short, um, but that's okay. And then they put the shade, so basically, you know, the colors that they used, uh, the finish, and then the flavor or scent that you put in your lipstick. So here's one and here are the other two and they give you these to keep which I thought is fun. I like that they cover it with the tape so it doesn't get ruined and you just you know have them as a little memento so that's cool. So it comes with that um, and then again with the package that we did you get two lipsticks and then you get like a little gift with purchase. So it comes in this like really sturdy box and it says uh, lip lap by bite again the one that I went to was in Los Angeles and it comes wrapped in that adorable lipstick paper with a little sticker and I am going to just slide these out I've already used some of these um because I did this a couple of weeks ago and I finally got around to filming so you get a free mini agave lip mask I've already, I think, shared with you guys that I'm not the biggest fan of this, so I haven't used it. I'm probably just going to give it away. Um, I actually prefer my Laneige um, sleeping mask. This one's a little too thick for me, but, you know, whatever. I'll just give it to somebody who will use it. You also get the Bite Beauty Line of Difference Lip Primer. I've already used this, so it's a little dulled down, but it basically looks like a kind of, and it feels a little bit like a, Oh, it smells so minty. It's just a clear primer balm that you can put on your lips. Um, this is great, especially if you're going to use a matte lipstick. It helps to moisturize, prime. It helps so the lipstick doesn't feather. And I think this is a full size, if I'm not mistaken. And then you also get a full size of their lip scrub. And this is the Whipped Cherry Exfoliant. It smells... Ugh, it smells so good. It, I was a little nervous because I'm like, cherry, I don't want it to smell like... Dimetap, do you know what I mean? But oh, it smells so good. This is amazing. Currently, I actually use the Fresh Lip Polish, but this one is definitely um, a lot grittier than this. This is more for like daily use. Um, and so I've been using this every single day and you really need a super small amount. And I feel like it also helps to moisturize the lips um, prior to application. So you get the free lip scrub. Well. You technically are paying for it all, but again, the experience, amazing. So you get that. And now onto the important part, the lipsticks. So I had two lipsticks made, and then um, my friend Jen had two, mix of, two lipsticks made, and then her daughter created a shade, and I ended up loving it so much that I actually was like, you know what, I want that one as well. She had a really good eye for her colors. So three lipsticks in total and again they both come in with a little paper and their packaging is 
not super traditional for some of their lipsticks but they come in this really gray sleep tube and it's magnetic and it also says bite on the side something fun when you name your lipsticks they actually engrave the names on the top of the lids and i'll go through the names with you guys um and just for reference let me show you guys uh one of their lipsticks that i have a uh, different type of bullet same color um this one is not magnetic and this one feels a little bit heavier which i like so that's the main difference for their packaging um so on to the three lipsticks the first one is going to be the nude and then i'm going to go into the more colorful ones so the first color i made is called la and i have so many nude lipsticks but i figured you know what i still want to make a nude for everyday wear and this color is amazing um this one i made into a matte and i use the vanilla scent so let me zoom in and show you guys what it looks like and this is definitely more of like a kind of brownie nude. It's perfection. So I named the shade LA. Um, I believe most of you guys know I was born and raised in Orange County and I moved to LA about a year and a half ago. So I decided to dedicate this lipstick to Los Angeles. I love living in LA. And it's just a really pretty everyday nude. So. Um, let me go ahead and use the lip primer. I don't have anything on my lips right now. And show you guys what the color looks like. And it also kind of has almost a white kind of look to it and I think that really helps to neutralize the lip color a little bit. I have naturally very pigmented lips so I really like that I'm going to get the true color of this lipstick. So let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. <laughs> and let's put this baby on. I've obviously already used it a ton. When I first got it I was using this color every single day. And their lipsticks are very pigmented. Um, one swipe, yeah, and you get a ton of color. So let's zoom on out. There we go. So this is the color LA. Oh, interruptions. Um, and as you can tell, it is such a perfect everyday nude. And I have a ton of nudes, but I definitely wanted something a little bit more on the brownie side and this color is perfection so love that so that is the nude shade let me go ahead and remove what's on my lips really quick and we'll go on to the next so the next one is called Anna and her daughter actually created this lip shade and I saw it on her lips and was like let me try this on and fell in love with it it is a pink shade of course and what I also love about these lips Malcolm, mommy's filming. <laughs> um, what I also love about these lipsticks is if I'm out and I'm wearing a shade and somebody is like, oh my God, I love your lip color. Where did you get it? And I could be like, I got it at by beauty, but it's a custom lip color, so you can't have it. <laughs> um, anyways, that's just me being a brat. And um, this one is like a kind of cross between a pink but it also has a little bit of like peachy tones to it and it's just such a beautiful color this one i believe has a luster finish let me get a little bit closer there oh you know what and let me really quick do a swatch of the nude on the back of my hand we'll do so we can see all of them together here we go and these mattes also I didn't mention, they go, they apply kind of shiny or like creamy as you can see and then the shininess really diminishes and then it just leaves a really beautiful matte color that's not drying on the lips. So this one is Anna. I thought it was appropriate to name it after her. And let's apply this. Let me zoom you guys in. 
And where's my mirror? There we go. And I'm applying these directly onto my lips. I don't have any like concealer or anything. Normally I will apply some concealer or powder over my lips. But I want you guys to see how beautiful these are and their true shade. Okay. Let me fix you guys. Okay, so this one is Anna. I think it goes really well with my hair, my skin tone, and you can see it's a pink, but it just, it's not like an in your, well, I guess it is an in your face pink, but it just has this like peachy purpley, I don't know how, but it has a peachy purpley undertone to me or on my skin, and it feels so nice on the lips. And this one, I believe the scent was lavender. So that is Anna, and I also wore this for a good like couple of days because I was so obsessed with it. So let me do swatch here. And I love that I got pretty much all three totally different colors, so I have a little bit of everything. So, such a pretty color. On to the last shade. Okay, so the last shade is definitely an in your face bold shade, and I named her OC, Orange County, and I found it very appropriate because it is a bright, bold orange. I've only ever had, I think, one like true orange lipstick in my life, and it was Kat Von D. I want to say bang bang but I don't think that's right. It was a Kat Von D liquid lipstick and I was obsessed with how bold and in your face it was but it was a liquid lipstick and every time I applied it it got so patchy it didn't layer on evenly at all and I wanted to wear it so bad because I was so in love with the color but it just was not working for me and ever since then I haven't been able to find an orange that had that punch that went well with my tan and so I had already de decided before that I was definitely going to create an orange. I was I wasn't even going to create a pink or buy a pink because I have a million pink lipsticks um, but when Anna created this pink I figured you know what let me add her to the basket because she's so beautiful so this is Orange County and this one I got as a matte finish again I love their mattes because they're not drying at all and the scent that I got in this one is uh, citrus mango I one second Okay, <laughs> sorry, turn off my phone. Um, what was I saying? Oh, the, the scent in this one is Citrus Mango, and I got the matte um, scent. My phone totally threw me off, so let me go ahead and apply this one. And this one, you'll see like with the swipe, oops, did I move you guys? Like orange. I actually had this on yesterday. And I really wanted an orange for the summertime. I actually paired this with a MAC lip liner. But it really doesn't need any. So let me zoom out. Is this orange not freaking amazing? Like, I can't. Like, I love this bold, bright orange with, you know, super neutral makeup and a highlight and a bronze face for summer. Oh my God, yes. Okay, so I think this one is my favorite. I'm obviously gonna wear the nude and the pink a lot more than, you know, than in your face orange, but I love that I was able to you know custom make the shade to the exact color that I wanted and we did two different formulas before we got with this shade the first one that she made me was more of a red orange and I was like no I need like orange I want in your face orange and she mixed up a couple of the colors and I saw this and was like yes she my life is complete with this orange lipstick so this is OC and I'm obsessed what can I say so let me go ahead and do a swatch of her and again this one's a matte so it looks 
kind of shiny when you swatch it and then it'll dry down pretty quickly and it'll be pretty matte. So these are the three colors, so LA, Anna, and OC. And overall, it was just such a fun experience. Um, if you are willing to fork out the money and you're a beauty enthusiast, you would definitely appreciate going in and kind of getting your hands on everything and just, you know, being creative with it. I thought it was so much fun. So these are my three babies and that was my experience. So if you guys um, go to LA or if any of you that are in San Francisco or New York and you are into, you know, beauty products and want a fun experience, highly recommend it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I was so excited to share this with all of you guys. And until the next video, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.